live and we're back with another episode of Roofer Reflections. So I'm really, really glad to have Lance here today. So you've been part of the uh, roofing industry in, in many different ways for, for a while now. Absolutely. I originally started with a government contractor in the D.C. area. Greatly different work than what I'm doing now. We, we focused a lot more on uh, public housing renovation work. We made that transition and shot down here to Virginia Beach area where Campton Roads and, and now I'm focused in the multifamily world. You stayed on the uh, project manager side and I think more recently you've moved over to the sales side. Was that sort of deliberate or you just kind of walked into that? I got a lot of people that would say, listen, you're just, you're too outgoing for this. this because you got to come, went to a few different events, big events that were hosted saw the sales side of the game. Usually those two personality types, project management and, and, and salesmanship, they don't go hand in hand. I know that end of the game and that really makes for a far better transition into the sales side because I love to present all my own proposals. What are you most proud of? So I realized when I made the transition to this industry, again, relationship building, uh, it's fantastic, but at the end of the day, it's the board, the directors of the board, the vice president, president, whoever's sitting on a community's board. And sadly, uh, most people, and, and I understand, are forced to choose proposals based on cost. I was losing a lot of bids, and I know it wasn't from experience, and I know it wasn't from presentation, it was from price. I, I discovered that Sadly, uh, I was bidding against folks that were doing, maybe getting out whatever was in the shop. Roofing is a very difficult thing to explain in a brief period of time. First off, after you've looked at that roof for 15 to 20 years, and now you're looking at new shingles, it looks great no matter what. But what people don't know, like I said, it's the layers of an onion or, or, or the tip of the iceberg, it's what's underneath that matters. So I identified that I had to level the playing field. So I reached out to the three three big names, GAF, gentleman named Mike Zembrickski, and I said to him, I, I need a scope developed. I need to have something in, in plain English, something that I can put in front of people and we can have all the roofers bid on that and not deviate all the way down to the fasteners. We did about three to four straight years of heavy lunch and learns, education presentations, that kind of thing. Uh, the Captain's Walk, community of the Captain's Walk needs new roofing replaced with like kind, like color and state warranty. So by bringing that in with the scope, I was able to take all that out. We're all bidding the same thing and that has changed the game for me. You know, when people come up to you and say, you know, considering the roofing industry, what do you what do you tell that individual about the roofing industry? It's, it's definitely tough work. Uh, you have to remain consistent, and, you know, which I think is pretty much any industry. There's no more set hours with with, with being successful. Um, I don't care what you're in. You you do what it takes. Uh, you kind of said that earlier. So I would tell them to go for it. Do get involved. Get involved. But, but remember, you know, you want to bring that, that level of professionalism to it. That's something that's really lacked for a long time. Pick yourself some mentors and follow in the path of those that have done it before you. Be easy on yourself. Don't reinvent the wheel. We're going in a good direction. Keep it that way.